Hey, how's it going? Um, if you pay attention to my Twitter, you'll see that I've been doing some randomizers recently. Since around the time that we were doing Archipelago, uh, I got super into doing um, randomizers again. And now you might be asking yourself, well, you finished a randomizer today. Why are you doing that instead of getting the vlog out? And you know what? Generally speaking, yes, I do try to get the vlogs out on, on Thursdays. But when I got home from work, I went, I fell asleep again, as I do on Wednesdays often. Uh, I didn't wake up till like 2.45, almost 3 o'clock. And I just, I didn't want to work. <laughs> like, technically this isn't like work work, but like, I wanted to just relax. I didn't want to be like focused and like do a thing. I wanted to just let my mind direct me to, hey, we're gonna do this now. Cause it, it was a long morning. Typically we're done by like nine-ish. Um, at the very latest. But today it, it lasted a lot longer. Um, like I didn't walk in the door at home until almost 10.30, which is an hour and a half later. Um, so I was tired. And this is after not sleeping well last night. Um, after I ended the vlog, uh, I was running laundry. And I had to wait for the laundry to finish to put it in the dryer to be able to, um, go to bed. And I couldn't because there was still some time left. So, didn't end up, uh didn't end up getting much sleep. So I'm actually going to hit the hay before midnight tonight, which arguably is the healthy thing to do. You should, you should be doing that all the time, which I have heard from a couple of people at this point. Uh, but I, I don't have enough time to, to be going to bed at that early because especially on the nights that I'm closing, uh, I don't get home till 10.30 p.m. So, uh, I kind of just took it easy today, which sometimes you just need to. What can you do? Uh, but I do work again tomorrow, so while it's a short shift, it still is going to prevent me from, uh, hard focusing on, on the vlog till it's done. Uh, I go from about noon to about three. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And hopefully it doesn't like get ridiculous. So after my um, resting yesterday, uh, I had work today and it was a very short shift. It was 12 to three. So it was only three hours long, which is very unusual. Um, so it definitely flew by because of how short it was. But it's a couple extra bucks in my pocket, which is needed. Um, a big thing for me right now is still trying to save as much money as I can for the trip. Um, and having a, a extra shift does help in that, even if it means I work six days this week. It's fine. But I got home. I took care of the vlog, made sure that that got out. It obviously was later than usual because I didn't get it done yesterday, but still got it out and that's what's important. Now, I haven't been streaming and I would like to get back to that. But on the flip side, that gives me more chances to catch the VODs up. So I'm a little mixed on like how much it bothers me that I haven't been streaming. 
eh. <laughs> but ultimately, I am doing things for me. And that includes going to bed at a decent time. It is 12.15ish, and I'm going to bed. So it's just... I'm, I'm taking more into better consideration how much things affect me and using that to like refine how I handle things. And I'm definitely trying to be better about uh, stuff like that. So again, I'm gonna go to bed. So I got good news today. Uh, I got a notification that something that I pre-ordered is going to be here in less than a week. <laughs> and that's very exciting because I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. And the fact that it's almost here is, again, very exciting. Uh, so, the Xenoblade Shrine, right? Yeah, there's going to be something new added to it very soon. There was a pre-order a while ago for a figure, specifically a Figma uh, uh, a figure of Mio, uh, one of the main characters of Xenoblade 3. I pre-ordered it, and it's going to be here, I think it said the 4th. I don't know, I checked this a few hours ago while I was still at work. But I'm excited because that means it's going to be here very soon. Which means there's a new member to the family. <laughs> Today was a really crappy work day. And the reason for that is, um, so I had to open the store today. And because of that, uh, I was in really early. I didn't get a ton of sleep last night. Um, so already I was running on a deficit. But then, the store is a wreck. People are being a pain. And that is includes some of the workers. And then, one of the managers, one of the other managers, is doing things that actively are not great and are like pissing everybody off. So it's like everything from all sides. And then it was just so freaking busy. Like I know it's, it was the day before Easter, but come on. I shouldn't have to be stuck a half an hour after the end of my shift because I'm stuck on register because there's so many people. Like, yes, I know I'm a manager and technically it falls more on me to like keep things like moving comfortably. But there was so much, more than there should have been. It was just not great. And frankly, it's before midnight. I know I don't go to bed before midnight often, but I think I'm just gonna go to bed. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. So today was a lot better a day than it was on um, yesterday. Um, all, all of my problems yesterday, the other workers, the other manager, the flood of customers, the ridiculous state of the store, all of those were a lot better today, especially the customers. Uh, let me tell you, uh, by the time we were getting ready to close, it had been over an hour since a soul walked into the store. And it was so nice. It was like, what, what is the best way to describe it? Um, it's like when you're in school and your final teacher of the day is out, so you have a sub and the sub just lets you sleep. That is the best comparison I can draw to how the end of the day went. That was like really nice. But 
I didn't feel any amount of overwhelm that I had yesterday. So, definitely a lot, a lot better. I'm still, like, exhausted from all that, I think. Because it, it's not quite as early as it was yesterday, but it, uh, it is still early enough for me to be like, wow, how am I tired? So I'm gonna get ready for bed. And we're gonna hope that, uh, things continue to go comfortably. Not necessarily smoothly, but comfortably. By the way, happy Easter. I almost forgot. <laughs> I have one thing to tell you. I've come to a realization today. After all of this stuff going on, uh, with the um, Xenoblade 3 Ionios Moments art book, there's some stuff that came out. Makes sense. It's Xenoblade. There's always a big uh, Lord Gumps whenever there's some kind of new release like that. But it led to a discussion between me and a couple of friends. Basically, asking the question Do Nahan play X? Are they more avian, or are they more mammalian? We don't know. <laughs> I have a theory based on some subtext. And that subtext comes from a quest in Xenoblade X. So you can take it with a little bit of a grain of salt because it is outside the main trilogy. But there is a side quest where there is a female Nahan faking a pregnancy to trap a male Nopon into a relationship. So that implies that Nopon like, being pregnant the way that a mammal would is normal. <laughs> so it is very likely that Oka, Ricky's wife, from uh, Xenoblade 1 had to carry 13, well, not 13 because some of them are adopted, but however many children. And we don't think that they come in litters either because Ricky has adult children that have already moved out by the time the first game happens. So it doesn't seem to be litters and it does seem to be carried the way a mammal does. So, oof. <laughs> I don't know how we got on the, I, I mean, I know how we got on this conversation, but like, this was a wild conversation to have, especially with all of the lore stuff flying left and right. So, uh, huh. Huh. Wow. Do not pump my eggs? Let me know what you think. So, I began a project today, knowing that I have three days off this week. Um, I'm off today, I'm off Thursday, I'm off Friday. And with that, I decided to finally start working on the garage. Technically, I could have started last week, but when I learned I was gonna work six days and then be off three days this week, I was like, better to just push it to next week. Don't wanna exhaust myself too much. And the problem with the garage is that, I'm gonna throw Joe under the bus. Joe is very disorganized. <laughs> um, so the garage became a mess. He said, hey, can you help me with this? So I'm helping him with it. And I'm, I'm doing a lot of the work on it while he's at work so that I can just focus on what I'm doing instead of like being pulled in six directions at once. Because when it comes to um, organizing and, and cleaning and, and stuff like that, if I'm being blunt, he gets very uh, scatterbrained. 
so I would rather not have to suffer that and just let me take care of it. <laughs> and with three days off this week, I should have plenty of time to do that. So thankfully, I started that today, and it uh, got rolling. I only put in a couple of hours on it so far, but it definitely needed the help, and now it's gotten some of the help, and I'm going to continue to do it. So fingers crossed that it continues to go well and that it doesn't like become a multi-week project, because I don't have the patience for that, if I'm being honest. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And I'll, uh, I'll update you when the garage is closer to done. Probably won't be much of it for over the next week, but we'll see. But that's gonna be it for this week. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.